everyone, I'm Vivi and I dropped my phone. <laughs> Today I'm going over my top 10 favorite plushies that I own. Okay, so, if you know me, you probably would have guessed that this is probably the hardest top 10 list I've ever had to do. But, I managed to do it. <laughs> All the plushies are lying right there. I'm gonna pick them up, like, per, per section and like, you know, yeah, <laughs> obviously. But these are, just, like, out of all the plushies I own, these are the ten that I like the best. So, let's get into it. Alright, number ten is Baby Egg. <laughs> I've had this for a long time. He's so cute, I love him. <laughs> he also comes with a little worm as well, which is his plushie, like, because in the adverts he actually does have this. And he's so cute, I love him, his little bug onesie. I used to play with him all the time. I don't play with plushies as, like, anymore now. Well, kind of not. <laughs> but... You know, he was, he was like one of my best friends, like, because plushies are friends, not food. Oh god. <laughs> but yeah, Baby Oleg is adorable. If you've seen the adverts, you know, we obviously know him. Oh, his eyes are kind of a bit buggy. I don't know if you, if anyone else noticed that. Number nine is my life-size Mew. It's like, it's a life-size Mew. How, how can it not be on the list? It's not an official Pokemon plush, but you know what? It's perfect. It looks very official though, like, very official. Like, this is probably the most official looking, like, fake plushie I've ever seen. The tail ripped when I first got it, but I sewed it back on best I could, I guess. I don't know. I probably need to be sew it again, to be honest. Um, I used to keep it on with a bow tie, but then I started actually wearing my bow ties, so I took it off. I love them so much. I took the, I took the, um, because I don't know if you remember, but, like, episode 3 of Pokemon Squad, like, Mew was, like, the star Pokemon of the episode. I took the episode down because, like... I kind of regret it a little bit, because, um, I called Mew he him in the episode, but see, Mew is a non-binary Pokemon, so, yeah. By the time, I didn't really understand what non-binary was, but that's why I changed that with Shiny Mew, but I'm getting ahead of myself. But yeah, the life-size Mew is perfect, and I love it. Alright, number eight is a, a tie. Uh, hang on. I'm sorry, it's covered in, it's covered in fluff. <laughs> number eight are the Rock Ruffs. I have to put the Rock Ruffs on the list, come on. This is my, like, original Rock Ruff plushie, which has been in Pokemon Squad a couple times, but it, and it was never a main character, and I don't know why. It's quite old, as you can tell. The tail doesn't stay up anymore. It's covered in fluff. It's the only Pokemon plushie that, like, lies on my bed, so that's why. <laughs> this one's obviously my most recent run. You saw that in my last plushie video. It's, a uh, what's it called? A Comfy Cuddler? It should say it on the tag somewhere. It does not say that on the tag anywhere. But yeah, it's a Comfy Cuddler. It, it feels so good, and it has beans in it. Any plushie with beans in it is automatically the best plushie in the world. I kind of like this one more than this one, but this one stays on the bed, because he's always been on the bed, and this one stays on the shelf. I guess I could put it somewhere on the bed, I don't know, but then it, would, it doesn't make sense to not have a rock girl somewhere in the background, I guess, because it is my favorite Pokemon. Even though this channel's moved away from Pokemon now, in case you didn't see my community tab. Yeah. Number seven is my shiny Zorua. If you remember, I unboxed this one on the channel. It's gorgeous. It's an absolutely gorgeous shiny, my favorite shiny of all time, a gorgeous Pokemon, and the shiny is, like, perfect for it. I knew that these plushies would be out of stock immediately, so I'm so glad I got it when, it did, when I did. Oh, it's perfect. And the, I didn't notice this the, when I first recorded the first video, but it's got a little hidden mouth under its mane. That's adorable. <laughs> I love this thing so much. Like, I really do. Oh, it's perfect. It really is. The stuffing is perfect. Everything is perfect. I actually brought this to uh, my old LGBT group. I don't know if they're watching this video, because they used to, but I don't know if they, like, still do or not. If you do, hi! <laughs> I miss you all. <laughs> yeah. But, back to Zorua. I obviously have two shiny Zorua, one to evolve, one to keep, and I love it. And it appeared in the anime as well. It had a whole mini-series about it. That's why they did the plushie. But, it was worth it. I'm so glad that they did this, because it was worth it. Number six is my Peacock Tummy Carrier. You won't remember this in the last video. She's gorgeous. Like, what else do you want me to say? And obviously, you all know about the arsehole. <laughs> and the babies. I'm getting the babies out. <laughs> the babies are adorable, though. They're a bit. Well, I mean, they're a bit creepy as well, but they're adorable. Um, yeah. And I love them all. I love them all. Especially the mother, though. The mother's my favorite of them all. I think mean, this is the only one that's like an actual normal peacock color, but the rest are like different colors, but I, I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> they're all so cute. I love them all. I love them all. I don't really know what else to say about them, because they're just like, like, what else can I say? I, although, there is one tiny thing that annoys me. See? They, so, these, it doesn't, it's not with these two, so... These two, like, have yellow feet, yellow beaks, and then yellow, like, head crest, and that's fine. But then with these two, their head crest and beaks are yellow, but then this one's feet are pink, and this one's feet are blue. Like, 
Why? Did, did the fairies from Sleeping Beauty get a hand on them or something? Alright, number five is my shiny Mew. I know it's not life-size, but it outranks the life-size Mew because, you know, come on. As you all know, they're one of the main characters in my show. Um, and the thing is, if you saw my community tab again, like from the other day, I don't know if I'm going to be making another series of that. Because the last one didn't do so well. I don't think it was because of the swearing. But it didn't do that well, and it just made me lose all motivation. Like, then I've, like, I've begun production in the next series. The first episode's written, and it has a title and a cast and everything. But I don't know if I'll ever see the light of day or not. But that's why I added the line in that it, the next series isn't going to be for a long time, because I don't know when the next series will be. And I don't know if this is weird for any of you, because Mew is the only character that I voice with my actual speaking voice. So it's like, it's like we're both talking at the same time. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> Number four is my Pride Stitch. Obviously one of the Stitch plushies had to be on this list, but I only really want to put one Stitch plushie, because even though I like the other ones, I don't know, I didn't want the whole list to be just my Stitch plushies. But the Pride won one, obviously. Come on, it's not even a contest. Just look at it, it's gorgeous. Obviously this was just a profit, Disney don't care, but it's fine. They won me over with this one. The heart on the chest though is amazing as well. Look at it. I love it so much. I, I wanted this, this Pride Stitch for so long, but it was so expensive, so I'm so glad I got it for my birthday. <laughs> uh, well, the, the rainbow parts are like, I don't know what kind of material it is, but like, the kind of material that like, you know plushies that you draw on? That kind of material. And then like, the tummy and the eyes, like the, the ears and that, they're like, actually fluffy. Which is a little bit disappointing, but you know what? It would have been hard to like make it rainbow and fluffy, I guess. Even though I have, hang on, even though I have this, which totally did that well. So you know what? Yeah, there was no excuse for that, Disney. <laughs> Number three, this big motherfucker. <laughs> Look at it, God. Uh, I don't know what to say. It's self-explanatory, isn't it? <laughs> um, I got this. I've had this for a while. Um, I got it in like 2016, from a, it was from a carpet sale of all places. Um, I have a lot of meerkat plushies in case you didn't know, and I, they're all in the closet though, I'm not getting them out, but obviously this is like the best one out of them all. <laughs> I don't like, I don't know what else to say, like it's pretty self-explanatory, like, ugh. like, I could literally just use this to record videos instead of me, <laughs> like I could, you know? It did have a hole in the back, which was terrifying because it's full of, like, polystyrene, and I hate polystyrene so much, you don't understand. But, it's fine. The hole is stitched now. We're all good. It's it, it's precious, and I love him. I love him so much. Well, why is he number three, you ask? Just because I have more of an emotional attachment to the last two. Number two is my Staffy plushie. You you all have to have known this was going to be on the list. Yeah. If you all, if so, if you all know, my, my dog, like, my old dog passed away last year, and... You know, I'm fine, don't worry, I'm fine now, but it, the, the, keeping it, having this kind of makes me feel better. Like, it, look, it doesn't, it doesn't look exactly like him, but it looks enough like him. He, he, he lies on my bed as well. Only three plushies lie on my bed. <laughs> the, the rock graph of this and number one, which I'll get to, but, yeah. I just love this thing. I love this thing so much. Like, I think I'm almost everywhere I go as well. <laughs> I don't care. I, I, he goes in my backpack, you know. And I just really got something on on him, and that's really making me have anxiety. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to get I don't want to talk about it too long. Cause I don't want it to be too sad. But I I only got this because he passed away. And you know, even though you know you've seen my new dog Ella, and I love her so much, <laughs> but I still have him as well because he helps. Ella helps more, obviously, but he helps a lot too. Okay, I'm a little bit embarrassed about this, but number one, it's cheeky. Jiggy the monkey. Yes. My favorite plushie. Um, so, I'm gonna tell you the whole story about her. Um, <laughs> she, she's been my, she's been like my favorite plushie since I was nine years old, so, hang on, 12 years? 12 years. Yeah. And she, I'm never ever gonna hate her, cause she's always, she's always been there for me. <laughs> I dig her literally everywhere I go with, with my staffy plushie. She's always on my bed. I actually cuddle her at night. The only plushie I cuddle at night. A lot of adults do that, so don't judge me. And, <laughs> Yeah, she's always been my best friend, and everyone in my family knows about her as well. Like everyone treat everyone treats her like she's an actual person, <laughs> and I don't care what they say. I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> I was telling my mom and my sister-in-law 
about this video. I I, I was like, number one, it's all, I know you, you're not going to know who number one is, but I'm making a top ten plushie video, and then they all said, so Rainbow Stitch is going to be number one. Because they're that used to her as a person that they forgot she was a plushie. It's like, <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> but yeah, if it was, if I considered that, then she wouldn't have been on the list at all, but obviously she was. Also, 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 not a lot of you know about this. Hang on. I got this, like, two years after I got Cheeky. It's a little one. <laughs> I won this, well, I found it, I saw this at a school fair, and I tried to win it, but couldn't, and then one of my classmates won it for me, because they knew about Cheeky as well, because I brought it to school. So, yeah. I've had this one for, like, not as long as Cheeky, but, two, like, since, for ten years. Yeah, ten years. And this one, this one just lives inside her jumper, because it's safe. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the story of Cheeky. And she's always going to be my favorite plushie. And I'll always have her. I'm going to die with her. That's the plan. <laughs> that was a bit gruesome. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, that was my top 10 favorite plushies. Let me know what your favorite plushie that you own is. Because I actually want to know if some of you have plushies. I know some of you do, but maybe some of you don't. And that's where I'm going to end it there. So please like and subscribe. And I'm Evie, and I'll see you next time. Bye!